Hey guys, this is Tyler here. It is September 27th. And I want to talk about why younger MGTOW guys should not be using dating apps, whether it's in Estonia or Russia or other Eastern European countries. In previous videos, I've discussed my opinion on dating apps and on Tinder and on general relationship environments in various Eastern European countries. One thing that I'm pretty consistent about is the ineffectiveness of online dating in many Eastern European countries, such as Estonia, Slovakia, etc. I think for most younger guys, it's actually best to avoid dating apps for many reasons. One thing I tell people now is that for Generation Z, dating apps are almost like the default Instagram. I almost think that apps like Tinder, Baidu are replacing the Instagram. That the Instagram, of course, is still very popular, but it sort of is like an Instagram in a sense now, Tinder for, for girls in this age bracket. And this is one of the reasons why I think you're best off avoiding the app. I think it triggers, uh, honestly, a lot of depression. It, it just makes a lot of guys feel bad about themselves. They, they don't understand, they don't realize on that end of the of the equation they don't really have a lot of control over and it's not, a lot of it's not even because of them that the, the app's not working it's just that the the girls using it more like instagram and that's why i say just don't use it because it's like giving a lot of likes or commenting on a girl's instagram post is that really going to help you is it going to benefit you for dating no probably not in most cases if you're still doing it of course it's you're still mentally engaged in this also understand that with an app like Instagram, typically if, if a couple meets on Instagram, it's usually the girl that initiates the contact with the guy, not the other way around. If they're interested in meeting them and if this develops into a relationship, that's usually how it works. I often think it's the same way with Tinder. The girl doesn't necessarily have to initiate, but there has to be a pretty high level of interest from the onset. And if there isn't, usually the the girl doesn't really have a lot of real interest and that's why i often say it's very similar to instagram you also see this same common theme of these kind of modified photoshop pictures that don't look often real or they, they are real but it, they may be five years old i've been on dates before where i saw a girl the photos that she used were probably like three years old four years old and I, I could hardly recognize the girl. It was like something completely different. Likewise, I've been on, on dates where the, the girl looked just like her picture or even better, which is, I always think is better myself. When I used online dating in the past, I would use actually photos that were not as good looking so that when, when the girls would meet me, they would actually be like, oh, you look better than your photos. And this I think can, often help sometimes not not always so sometimes i think a guy does have to use really enhanced photos himself the problem though with a lot of the the dating apps is that yes there's a lot of girls and women that have profiles on on apps like tinder and baidu a, a big percentage of the younger age demographic but thing is is that they don't really use it to to seek out guys that they're actually going to go out on an, on dates with or form a relationship with they don't in many cases use it for this purpose that's why i said it's kind of like default instagram it's not really going to serve a lot of utility for a guy they, they would be better off kind of uh, focusing on their own interests and activities and maybe opportunity arises that way but usually what especially in countries where the dating apps don't work very well like slovakia what or estonia what often happens is that you may end up meeting a few girls in person and these don't really go anywhere and it's just it, it feels like kind of a big waste of time so it, it, you'd be better off to use that time and of course energy to pursuing your own projects or interest potential business i mean the thing is here, understand, if you live in a country that you really don't like, this is for a local guys or foreign guys, you live in a country you don't like and you're like, I'm so tired of the dating scene here, relationship scene, because some 
MGTOW guys, of course, still want to pursue short-term relationships or something. And they're like, I, I haven't gotten any opportunities. Well, if you apply yourself well enough, you could potentially work your way out of the country. You could put yourself in a position where you could travel frequently to other places. You could move somewhere else. You, you would open up, uh, up doors. So that's why I say the time that you'd be in the energy, in the emotional energy, especially you'd be spinning on those dating apps, would be better applied to figuring out what you could do to, to gain an edge, professionally speaking, to open up other countries. And, and that's a really, I think, good way to think about this. Uh, it's ultimately about opening other doors. Potentially, with, with your progress on yourself, perhaps that would open a door, door up in your local community and maybe something there would would become available but it, it just goes back to to what i said that it's um there's a lot of catfishing now on these dating apps like tinder and baidu there's a lot of psych psychopathic kind of people not just men but women also there's a lot of psychopathic behaviors on these apps there's a lot of, there's money scams happening frequently there's all sorts of weird be behaviors and things occurring and often you're just better off putting your energy here and focusing it on positive things that produce real value in your life that's just my opinion of it but over each person of course is different some people like to maybe use it for entertainment purposes or for maybe their own self-validation if if they do have girls that validate them they they may like that but it just depends from person to person. But I look forward to your feedback below on this and thank you.